this pandemic wears on and we head into flu season, a lot of people are looking into ways to boost their body's immune system. Our WHO 13's Whitney Blakemore joins us live this morning with some tips on what we should be doing and what we shouldn't be doing. Hey, Whit. Hi, Jody. Good morning. There are a lot of things we should be doing. For one, we should be taking our daily multivitamin, especially us northerners who, you know, maybe and oftentimes are vitamin D deficient. But what we shouldn't be doing is overloading our system with those vitamins. Dr. Ariel Lebaton says the more is better route is a major misconception when it comes to vitamin intake in immune health. It can actually lead to some major harm if you aren't careful. Things like vitamin C, vitamin D, and zinc are important, but need to be taken only at the recommended dosage. Of course, there are things you can do naturally to help as well, and those go hand in hand with an overall healthy lifestyle. They are things like eating a healthy, well-balanced diet with plenty of colorful fruits and vegetables, exercising regularly, Current guidelines advise Americans do at least 150 minutes of moderate intensity activity, like brisk walking, every week. Get enough sleep, seven to nine hours is recommended. Drink plenty of water, and of course, continue to do what we've been doing since the beginning of this pandemic. Keep up the hand washing and socially distancing. It's just important to, to think about immune health and frankly, I think it's important, you know, year round. It's not just now in the pandemic and it's not just, you know, cold and flu season. I mean, it, it's an important thing for everyone. So um, that's why we're advocates much more of getting year round immune support through a good daily vitamin regimen that's tail tailored to your needs as opposed to like taking massive doses of something that you think might help you you know, this month because something's going around. Dr. Levitin says even things like elderberry, which recently has come up as this great immune boosting antioxidant natural remedy can be very harmful if taken in too much or in too much access, excess. So, you know, Jody, just sometimes when you're going to you know, the drugstore or wherever, and you're just looking at all of the stuff that you can take, it can sometimes be kind of overwhelming about what's the best thing to do. And like she's kind of saying, it's just making sure you're taking that daily vitamin that will have what you need in it to make sure that your immune system is staying strong and then just doing those natural, healthy things to try to make sure that your body is as healthy as can be if it does come in contact with any sort of virus or bug. Yeah, leading a healthy lifestyle is the best medicine in this case. Thanks so much, Whitney.